What does cancellation of debt mean? Not much really, not much to the consumer. There's a lot of disinformation about cancellation of debt or otherwise referred to as forgiveness of debt or a charge off of a debt. They all mean certain specific things, but in the end of the day, it doesn't impact the consumer at all. The money is still due, whether it's been forgiven, canceled, even on a 1099C cancellation, don't assume you don't owe that money anymore. It's not that clear. Here's the thing. A debt never really goes away, ever, unless one of two things have happened. It's been paid or it's discharged in bankruptcy. What happens to a debt when you stop paying it is the creditor's rights erode. They become weaker and your rights become stronger. The first right is the statute of limitations. On most debt in California, the creditor must sue you within four years. If they do not, they can no longer sue you, which means they can't garnish you, which means they cannot force you to pay. In year five, you still owe the money, however. The debt is not canceled or forgiven. You still owe those sums of money, so they can call you. They can say, please pay me. They can't sue you, they can ask to be paid. Similarly, on a credit report, it's on there for seven years. In year eight, they can still ask to be paid. They can't put on your credit report, they can't sue you, there's less and less things they can do to you, but you still owe the money, which is why you get calls eight, nine, 10 years later, which is why there's a debt buyer industry. They buy these debts that are less valuable at discounted amounts, and then try to collect from consumers who pay them when they don't have to pay them many times. So understand that cancellation, forgiveness, charge off mean very little to the consumer and doesn't mean you don't have to pay the debt anymore.